Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. I pray that you are and have been enjoying this journey through Matthew, kind of getting toward the last uh, couple. We have two more chapters after today. Today is 26, and this one was an emotional one for me, no doubt. Um, I just have one verse, verse 39, but uh, the, the title is, God, please take away the pain in the suffering. Um, how many of you have been in that season of life, or maybe even today you're in that life? Lord, please, I beg you, take away the pain and the suffering I'm experiencing. So my one verse is verse 39, and it says, going a little further, this is about Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Whew, wow. Jesus just asking his heavenly father to take away the cup um, that he was called to bear. My reveal, how many of you experience that trial of life that you thought, I just can't bear this and cried out to God just like Jesus and asked Heavenly Father take the pain take the suffering away my eye my implementation um, guys this is not easy for any of us it's just not my implementation is I have been deeply moved by walking along three men who have lost their wives with an average age of 57. Their average years of marriage, 30 years average. The pain of, and the suffering is real. The loss of their lovely brides, unbearable at times. All three men in their own way are dealing with this, with courage that I can only imagine. As I've observed them saying, God, not my will, but your will. Um, I didn't put a prayer in my journal on this one because I knew that um, mm, this was going to be raw and it was going to be real. And many of you know, at least probably one of the three um, they lost their wife this last, these are all within um, the last four years, two years within the last year that um, these brothers have lost. They're all here locally, lost their wives. Um, and it's been, hmm, it's been an emotional walk through this season with them, but I am, I'm encouraged to see God bring them through this season, through this time. Um, so my prayer is going to just come from my heart because um, I have nothing written down. So let me close this out uh, if I can. Lord, um, you just hit pause right now, God. And Lord, do you quicken in my heart um, these three brothers uh, in Christ that, Lord, I've watched you literally pick them up and carry them through the season of life. Father, I just continue to ask that you meet them right where they're at, that your peace would fall fresh upon their homes, upon their hearts, upon their heads each and every moment. Lord, some of the stories you pen in and through our lives are so hard. But Lord, when I pause and I look at the story you penned through your own son, in your own son said, please, Father, take this cup away. But it was part of the mission you brought him here on earth to go to the cross to die for me, for my three brothers, and for the hundreds of men that are watching the video right now. Lord, help us personalize that to a level that you know 
what our pain and our suffering and experience is all about. So Jesus, we now give it to you, Lord. We cast our burdens, our pain, our suffering onto your shoulders. And Lord, we can even begin to say um, thank you for stepping in for us when you took the nails on the cross for each of us. It's in your name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm. Wow. Guys, life is so short. Do not take anything for granted. And I'm going to share one of the brothers' message when he shares about losing his wife. Do not take anyone for granted. Hard relationship with your, your dad right now? Call him. Hard relationship with your mom? Haven't reached out in years? Call her. You may not have that opportunity again. And I just feel like um, this is a message God wants us to just not take any anyone, anyone um, for granted. Love you guys. Thank you for allowing me just to bear my heart in this one. I will see you in the morning.